of the mechanical lifts that the ARC uses to help promote patient safety as well as your safety. The Sarah lift allows someone to move from a sitting position, such as in their wheelchair or sitting on their bed, to a standing position and then transfer to an alternate surface. The Sarah lift has some very basic controls. So first off, you can turn it on by pressing the green button. Now, I can either do most of my controlling to assist the person with this remote here, or through these, this panel here, up and down arrows. So before you do any kind of transitioning from sit to stand, you want to make sure that you have all the equipment that you need. You know that it's the top of the sling because it has more of a crowned feature. And these pieces will come around. Now these will be underneath my arms as I'm coming up for comfort and safety. Next, if you're doing any kind of toileting transfer, you just want to make sure you have um, anything you need to assist with someone's hygiene and maintaining skin integrity, things like that. So all you need to do is move these arrows up and down. Like that. If you need to get around a chair or a toilet when the person is standing, you can open up the legs like this. Batteries will make a beeping noise when they're considered low battery. If you need to switch it out, you just push in that red button, pick it up, and then you can either put it on a charging station, which are normally near the bathrooms in a residential home, or on a charging station in a changing room in a day program. Again, the main purpose of the Sarah lift is to assist someone that most likely is declining. You might not be able to do a stand pivot at transfer anymore, so what a stand pivot as we discussed in a previous video, is when someone is able to stand up and transition, weight shifting side to side and pivoting over to an alternate surface, either using your help, um, using an assistive device, or a grab bar type um, tool. So we're going to transfer Tony from a mat table in this case, or this could be used for any surface, so a wheelchair, a bed, a regular chair, anytime they're going from a seated position to another seated position. The person who uses this lift has to be able to participate in the transfer and assist you with the transfer, so they're doing some of the work and the machine is helping them with the other part of the work. They also have to be able to sit up on their own. So we're gonna set up our wheelchair first. We're gonna go from the mat table to the wheelchair, so we wanna make sure that chair is ready for us. So I've got the brakes on and the seatbelt is out of the way. I'm gonna take the leg rest off and remove those so those are not in our way. So we're gonna take our Sarah with sling. We're using a yellow medium sling. Again, make sure you're using the sling that's in the person's guidelines. Gonna go around his waist. And this position is similar to where you put a gate belt. So you want it down low and you want it snug so it's not riding off underneath their arms. There's a lot of sensitive structures underneath your arms so you want to make sure that you are not putting too much pressure on that area. You know that this is on correctly because the padded pieces will be up and underneath his arms. Now we're going to bring our lift in. You always want to have an eye on the person whenever you're maneuvering this lift to make sure you're not running into them. So I'm going to widen the legs a little bit. And then we're going to bring the platform in. Tony's going to put his feet up there. If you need to, you might need to get down and assist them to do that. Pay attention to the position of these bars. So once you've got it in close to them, you want to make sure it's making contact with their lower legs. And you are going to put the belts around. This is to make sure that their feet are staying on the platform and they're not going to slide backwards. 
So next, you are going to attach the clips closest to the person. Again, you should feel resistance and hear a click. That's how you know that this sling is safe to use. Okay, so Tony's gonna hold on to the handles here. There are some people that we work with who might hold on down here. It'll be in their guidelines if that's the case. Just make sure they're holding on away from the clips. They should not be holding on anywhere close to here. So I'm gonna have my handset control and then I'm gonna be talking to Tony, letting him know we're gonna go up. So notice the brakes of the lift are not on. That's so that the lift is able to adjust and Tony's able to stay in the center. If you notice that this is loosening, you can kind of tighten it as you go. The person is helping you with this process. You're paying attention, making sure that their feet are staying on the platform, that they're not sliding backwards and that they're not being lifted off. If you notice that someone is starting to sag in the lift, that means that they're not actively engaging their legs. So if they might need some verbal cues or some touch prompts to stand up tall. That's very important because this is a, a lift that's designed to assist you. It's not supposed to do all the work for you. So it's really important that the person is participating. If you find that that's consistent, that people are not standing all the way up in the lift and they're just sagging, we might wanna look into using a different lift with them. So once they're in the standing position, you're going to move to your destination. In this case, we're going to a wheelchair. So I wanna make sure the legs are wide enough to clear the wheelchair. And then once you get close, you're gonna to start to lower. The brakes of the lift are off, but the brakes of the wheelchair are on. That's so that you're able to adjust and get him centered and all the way back in the wheelchair without tipping it over backwards. Okay, so once we've reached our destination, we're able to unhook from the lift. We're gonna un unflip. Tony's gonna to let go of this. The platform's gonna go away. We'll unclip the sling and then have the person lean forward. We'll get our seatbelt fastened. And we'll put our leg rest back on. You want to make sure the person's comfortable, make sure that they're centered in their wheelchair and their hips are all the way back. And if they need to do any repositioning, you want to unfasten their seatbelt and assist them to do that.